welcome back to my channel excuse that behind me that's my nail stuff that i brought home i was gonna do my nails again but as you can tell by the title today i will be talking about my experience at an hbcu versus a pwi because as most of you know i did transfer this semester to the university of alabama and i used to go to Tuskegee University, which is known as an HBCU, and the University of Alabama is known as a PWI. And if you do not know what that means, you may look it up, or I can just tell you, an HBCU is a historically black college university, and a PWI is a predominantly white institution. So, first off, I went from T U you know to hey Alabama Rove Tide. <laughs> I have nothing against Tuskegee. It just was not the school for me. So I chose to go to the University of Alabama. That actually was my first choice when I was in high school, but due to me not making a as high of a grade, I, well not grade, but as high as a test score on the ACT, SAT, it was one of those. I uh, had to apply to another school. So I chose to go to Tuskegee because I started to hear about HBCUs when I was in high school and I'm like, hey, that sounds fun to be a record to go to school with more of my, my kind of people because I've always went to a predominantly white school my whole life so I just wanted to try something different and go to a black school I'm gonna just keep it real I wanted to go to a black school to see what it was like but it was not for me it's nothing against that school it just it just wasn't for me but the reason being one we're gonna talk about expenses okay so if you'd like to go to tuskegee that is a very expensive school it is around i think it was around sixteen thousand dollars per semester that's a lot because it's considered a private school i wouldn't call it a private school in my opinion it's just in the middle of nowhere it's literally like literally here's an example if you have to go grocery shopping and would like to go to Walmart, you have to either drive 30 minutes to Montgomery or 25 minutes to Auburn. Now, who wants to do that? Nothing against the people who still go to school there. I still have friends there or people who I call my friend or whatever. Nothing against y'all, but I'm just saying that's a lot. That's a lot of gas money. We're already paying to go to school there. We're already paying for dorm tuition, housing, that's the same thing as the dorm, but you get what I'm saying. That's a lot of money, extra money for gas, and you know we want to eat out because the calf is disgusting. So that's one thing to think about. Going to school there is very expensive. You would think going to Alabama would cost more than going to Tuskegee because Tuskegee is the size of this circle. Alabama. It's just huge it's like i don't I, I go there and i still don't know where everything is i still get lost i have to use the gps everywhere i go literally or like if i'm walking i have to use the gps on my phone if i don't know where i'm going i only know two places by heart and that's where to eat at and where i stay and where my car is parked so yeah so if you would like to go to an hbcu i don't know if they're all this expensive I have not done my research. I do not know if they're all that expensive, but Tuskegee University is very expensive. It's expensive for what you get. Like they hype it up on the internet, but once you get there, it's, as, as most people say, it's not what it's cranked up to be. It's not worth it because my freshman year, I stayed in one of the worst dorms on campus and we had community bathrooms and the girls were just <laughs> they were nasty 
to put it like that. But, okay, that's expenses. And then at a PWI, I don't know about all PWIs, but at the University of Alabama, I believe it's only $11,000 a semester. So you see the difference? That's $5,000 difference from Tuskegee. Tuskegee and the University of Alabama. You would think it would be more expensive to go to this big known school that everybody knows about. Everybody knows about the University of Alabama, Roll Tide, yeah, Nick Saban, everybody knows about that school. So you would think it would be pretty, pretty expensive to go there, but it's actually cheaper than my other school. I mean, my school is paid for. We don't pay out of pocket. I'm not saying this to brag, but still, if you do pay out of pocket, that is less money you have to pay for. Okay, so that's that. Expenses. That's a difference. Um, I can talk about football games. I already noticed the difference about football games. Because I went to my first Alabama game, as y'all saw in my Alabama and, wait, no, no. The University of Alabama and Texas A&M game day vlog. Okay, so the differences in football games. One, at Tuskegee, you know, we're, we're lit under the shed. People are drinking alcohol, smoking weed, even though they're not supposed to do that. <laughs> but they do anyways because, you know, they want to have fun. I don't smoke, I don't drink, so I, I just be there. <laughs> trying to have fun, you know, experience what it was like to go to a Tuskegee football game. I'm not gonna lie, it was fun or whatever. Well, from homecoming, it was fun. It was hot. It was hot and it was fun. The difference it, at Tuskegee, it's a little bitty shed, so you gotta get there early. If it's a game day that's home at Tuskegee, People would get there at 7 o'clock. I'm like, why y'all getting there so early and the game don't start till 2.30? And they're like, you won't have a seat under the shed. I'm like, okay, that's doing a bit much. But at Alabama, you, don't ha you do not have to do all that. You, you could get there a little early, yeah, of course. But for a 2.30 game and y'all getting there at 7 o'clock in the morning, that's ridiculous. So, and then at the Alabama games, it's more spread out. You don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, am I going to get a seat? Oh my gosh, am I not going to get a seat? You're, you're, you're determined to get a seat if you buy a ticket for an Alabama game. But the, uh, the other difference at Tuskegee, students got in for free. But, I mean, they should. It's barely any space for the whole campus to go to a game so i mean if everybody want to go they can but you might be standing up and then another thing that i have experienced that's different at my new school are the dorms the dorms are much nicer well when i stayed in harvey at tuskegee as a sophomore during my sophomore year um that's that's a nice dorm that was the nicest dorm to me in my opinion for girls on Tuskegee's campus like I said my freshman year I stayed in the worst one so my sophomore year I wanted to make sure I put in my um dorm application early so I could stay where I want so I ended up in the nicest dorm on campus sophomore year but of course at a pwi the dorms are still nicer i like how it's set up too because i haven't gave y'all a dorm room tour yet but basically the rooms are set up it's like you have suite mates it's four of us in a room and you share a bathroom with somebody else but you have your own like bedroom space if you get what i'm saying so it's two rooms a bathroom a, a living room, two rooms, a bathroom. So I like how that's set up instead of the traditional style where you literally a bed, a bed. I, I would get tired of that. It's like no privacy because at home, 
I have my own room, my own bathroom. So that was kind of annoying. Okay, so we went over expenses. We went over the dorms and we went over football games. Another difference at IPWI, most of them, um, you know how you get points. Well, if you're not in college yet, you get a thing on your student ID or at, at Alabama, they call it an act card. At Tuskegee, they just call it your student ID. I don't know why they call it that, but um, you get points. Like, you could use them at different little restaurants on campus. At PWIs, they have more and more options, so you have to make sure you do not spend all your points before the end of the semester because it's almost, um, like, we still have three and a half weeks until we can go home or till we're supposed to go home but i have a car so i'm gonna go home when i'm ready to go home if i don't have to be on campus so you have to make sure you do not use all your points or you just have to pay out of pocket but that's the same way out of hbcu too but still since there's more options at a pwi for you to eat out at using your points instead of using actual money you're gonna use them faster because see tuskegee they had this place called austin's it was like burgers breakfast stuff like that and other stuff and then they had this chicken place and that was it and then at Alabama, they have Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, Auntie Honey's, Wendy's, Panda Express. See, it's way more options, so you're going to spend much more. Like, at, at Tuskegee, they, they have an option. For freshmen, they only give you a certain amount of bucks on your um, ID, but then once you're a sophomore, junior, senior, you get to choose your meal plan and how much money you get on your ID card. But at Alabama, I don't know about what they do for freshmen because I'm a transfer. They just straight up gave us $350 of like, they call it dining dollars at Alabama. And then they have a thing called Bama Cash. I hardly use Bama Cash, but I use the dining dollars a lot because, hey, I might want Starbucks, I might want lunch, and I stay in a dorm. I don't, I don't cook at school. The the most I will fix in my dorm to eat is some nasty noodles, <laughs> and that's the only time I eat noodles because you will not catch me eating noodles when I get home. I'm just, I'm gonna be real. The only time I eat noodles is when I'm at school and if I don't want to spend any money or if I don't want to spend any dining dollars. So noodles will be your best friend. It's most people's best friend in college. We won't want to eat them, but we're going to eat them if we're starving and don't want to spend any money or don't want to door dash or any of that. So I hope I covered most of you guys' questions. One of my subscribers really wanted this video. I forgot your name. I am very sorry. But I hope I mentioned everything you would like to have heard in this video. If not, please comment down below any questions you may have. And I will gladly answer them. But I did talk about expenses, dorms, dining dollars, and books. Or whatever you like to call it. And football games. So those were the few differences i've experienced so far from being at an hbcu to a pwi and i hope you all enjoyed this video if if you do not how do i say this if you're not enjoying your experience and you're a african-american female male and you go to hbcu transfer like if you can transfer I'm not telling you just transfer just because, but I, I really thought most people was going to think, oh, she's a traitor going from 
a black school to a white school. No, I don't care. I'm doing this for me, not for y'all. Y'all doing what y'all doing for you and not for me. So I made this decision for myself and to better my education. No, nothing is necessarily wrong with the teaching at Tuskegee. It's just, I'll save that for another video. But if you like to transfer, transfer. Don't worry about what other people have to think. But yet again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And always and forever, Slay with Trace. Bye, Slay Squad. And also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get your girl to 600, 600 subscribers. All right? Bye. Mm -mm.